Hey everybody, welcome back to Joe Wednesdays. How's it going? Sorry, no cute Lydia intro this time. You know, she's been at daycare this week, so no, no, no fun there, but who knows, with the next couple of days I'll be off on holiday, so maybe I'll just, you know, stockpile a bunch of cute intros together or something like that so that you guys have something to see. Um, but hey, so welcome back. How's it going? What's new? Um, I guess uh, happy Thanksgiving Eve, if that's a thing. But uh, but yeah, happy uh, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Hope you're having a good start to the holiday or, or a good holiday if you pick this up a day or two later. Um, things that I'm thankful for, maybe? Well, I don't know. I think I kind of want to take this question in a different direction, but I guess I'll answer it genuinely first. Like, I am... Let's see, I'm very thankful for my family's health currently, you know, because the, with the pandemic, with the way it's been, I guess a small silver lining to find out of it is that uh, both Lydia and Ashley have not been getting, like, the the normal sicknesses that they've been going, they've been getting, like, you know, no flus, no colds from other people, that kind of stuff, because we've all been inside the house with each other so i mean you know there's 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 a positive to take out of that um you know um i'm also very thankful for how work is going um you know i mean obviously if you compared it to where i was sitting last year and there was actually some concern as to whether i'd still you know have a job or not um because of how stuff was going with my family and how much time i was missing you know uh, i'm very thankful that they kept me around so i'm i'm definitely thankful uh, to be a year later through a pandemic to still be uh, with them. Um, on the work front, it's actually been kind of interesting. My team has kind of got an influx of projects that are kind of needing a lot of work on them quickly. Uh, a lot of quick deadlines, a lot of quick turnarounds, that kind of stuff. And um, I think at, on at least four projects now, I've kind of, I've kind of turned into like their clinch hitter guy, like, like just the no, not necessarily doing like you know all the the grunt work of it but like they need somebody to kind of like get it get it done and cross the finish line a little bit so I've, I've kind of been that guy um and i'm happy to do it you know um uh because i mean like like i've said i i'm very thankful for the group i'm in and the the team i'm on and all that kind of stuff and and uh last year a lot of people you know covered my back when i really needed it last year so um, I'm, I'm, ha I'm more than happy to, you know, step up and do my part for them when, when they're needing the assistance to get stuff done. So, so yeah, so I mean, I've, I've been, you know, also grateful for the opportunities to kind of pay them back a little bit, but I also, you know, I'm, I'm not keeping score. I just, that's, that's how I'm going to be one way or the other, but there's, you know, I, I certainly, I certainly have a debt to pay in that, in that category. So I'm, I'm happy to have some, uh, abilities to pay it back a little bit. Um, but, you know, some, some things that I've been thinking about, you know, with, with Thanksgiving coming around, that kind of stuff, it's like, I hear a lot of people try to turn, like, bad experiences into positives, like, like, trying to, like, you know, find silver linings, and, and, like, trying to make the best out of a bad situation, and I, you know, I, I definitely don't, blame anybody for trying to do that and I definitely don't think it's wrong to do that or anything like that but sometimes forced positivity can be as negative as the negative situation itself because it just feels so false to me sometimes um I don't think it's necessarily wrong to be down in the dumps occasionally I think it's what you choose to do with that feeling that ultimately defines whether it's going to be good or bad for you because if there's a, if you're in a situation where you're not you know either you know you're really not appreciating what it is or something like that um i think if in some ways it's the situation is trying to communicate to you that you're not okay with it you know there there's some something about the situation is wrong um Sometimes life just kind of throws a wrench in whatever you're trying to do and there's nothing you can do about it and that sucks. But sometimes there are situations where they suck and it's hard to be in them, but the you got to try to ask yourself the question, what can you really do about it? Really do about it. Not just not just 
uh, like try to put a positive spin on it or be thankful that like, you know, like, like if your job sucks, it's like, okay, well, I'm at least thankful that I'm employed, that kind of thing. It's like, well, okay, but you're sitting there miserable every day doing it. So is there something you can actually do about it? Like, can you find different employment? Can you do something to make the work situation better? That kind of stuff. It's like, you don't, you don't have to just sit in it, you know? Do something about it if you can. Try to try to figure out something new. Do do something different. Go, think outside the box. That kind of stuff. Um, so it like it like I guess like I don't know if I ultimately had a point outside of that. But it's just you know being thankful for stuff is good, but you don't necessarily have to try to make negative situations into a positive. Use them as a motivation to move forward and do something about it. So, so I'll get off my high horse. Apparently, I just had that thought to share with you guys. Um, and some, something else that I always, I generally usually think about this when Thanksgiving comes around, because there, you know, there it's the it's the continuous debate of do you or do you not celebrate Christmas stuff before you know the, do, you, do you celebrate the Christmas holiday stuff before Thanksgiving or not, um, and. For me, like, Chris, Christmas always brings up music stuff to me, and I mean, it, it's, you know, I'm, you know, we were in Catholic school for, you know, our, our grade school and middle school years, so, you know, doing choir stuff and going to church was always a very active part of my life there, and then, you know, I got into high school, and I was doing marching bands, and mar and then the, the choir stuff, and, you know, M&Ms, and all that kind of stuff, and like when you think about it like anybody who's involved in like the performance music industry in any way shape or form like they've been doing christmas stuff long before december <laughs> you know like like w like when i was in high school the 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 choir uh classes and and practices and all that kind of stuff like you know we'd be doing christmas stuff like you know september october all the way into december to you know practice for whatever um december performances we were doing um so it's like it's like it's kind of it's kind of hard to not get into the spirit of it when you're like already actively like practicing it like you know at least a month before if not sooner or, or like i should say if not more than that um so yeah, so that 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 you know, m music always comes up for me um, when when Christmas rolls around, and 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 I, you know whether it's the YouTube algorithm or it's just something in me looks this stuff up. I always bring up Pentatonix uh, when when I'm getting in the Christmas funk. Um, I mean, it's just it's just I, I like the group. It's fun. I mean, like like I, I remember I remember. I think I'm just kind of sprawling here. Let me a second. So I guess like pentatonics for me is kind of my what impact was to probably Peter, because um, like when when Peter was in uh, high school, like he you know Mr. Pickering was the music director and he was trying to take the M and M's in a different direction and do more um, you know vocal percussion and acapella performances instead of like the show choir stuff that M and M's was doing before he got there. And I always thought it was kind of funny because, like, I think he essentially got, like, kicked out by, you know, parental politics in, in that, <laughs> in, the, in the music uh, at our high school. Like, the, the music program in our high school had a lot of parental politics that kicked him out. But, um, like, like, he left saying, like, this stuff is going to be, like, start being, like, national competitions are going to be all this kind of stuff. And, and lo and behold, like, you know, not even, a, you know, five years later, like, the sing-off happened and then Glee happened and all. The, there was there were so many different shows that were coming out on TV that were, like, acapella performances and singing and that kind of stuff. It's like, well, <laughs> like, was he, like, a, you know, a mus musical prophet for us that we just didn't listen to? But, oh, well. But, but I remember like seeing pentatonics performing for the first time on on that sing-off show and then like you know like i i pretty much knew like just just in the little bits and pieces that i saw of their performances i'm like yeah they're, they're it they're they're the winners this year <laughs> like, <laughs> um 
And I remember also going um, that like they they actually came to uh, E.J. Thomas Hall at at the university when um, I don't know maybe my my junior year or so. I just I just, I just remember because that was that was one of the first dates I took actually on. So so it's I don't know maybe it's a bit of a touchstone to kind of go back to my uh, you know our, our you know for, first starting relationship days or something like that. I don't know, but. And I mean, like you know, like I, I, I always think about like the the bass and baritone voices that I that I hear in the, in their in their music, because I mean, like it, it, I, I, Avi is just like insane with with some of the stuff that he does, um, and then like Kevin's vocal percussion stuff is is really cool. I, it was something that I never got to do when when I was doing the the show choir stuff, because it you know obviously when Mr. Pickering was gone, it didn't hang around, but um, but it was definitely enjoyable to watch and listen to and. And I mean, it you know, it's it's part of our Christmas, at, at, you know, uh, our uh, Christmas rotation of, of CDs when we're when we're all at home playing it. So, um, so yeah, so so that you know, I always, I always get to think about that that kind of stuff when the holidays roll around. So that's where well, I'll be probably listening to this this week and uh, probably for the next couple of weeks as we're uh, doing all the Christmas festivities. So. Uh, well, I'll shut myself off for here, so uh, again, happy Thanksgiving, I love you guys, um, enjoy the holiday and time off, time with family, but also be, be safe, because you know, the virus doesn't care if it's a holiday, so let's not, let's treat it as such, so, but stay safe, take care, love you all, bye.